Hello, welcome back everyone. Uh, we are in the first section of the Calm Guide and uh, section for setting up your money network for success. Uh, we went through steps one and two. So steps one was uh, setting up the network and deciding on the payment plan was the second step. Uh, and then there was a calm flow to help you kind of make that distinction if you weren't sure which one is best for you in this moment. And then this section is going to be talking about the payments and specifically section A, we're talking about a course or a one time payment. So it could be a, a course that's like a five week course or it could be a five week Let's say you want to meet together like a mastermind group wants to meet for 90 days, like the Mighty Mastermind we met for uh, 90 days. Uh, so you could have a specific time frame to it. And then there's a price either um, there would be a price for like that whole time. So a one time payment uh, with a cohort the mastermind setting would be something like um, 997 for three months, you know, for the whole time or, uh, you know, 997 for the course. For example, I have a client that I built her course and this was the plan that we built for her. And so her course was her introductory course price was $5.99. And uh, with the access to paying that $5.99, they got access to the academy, which is her community or her network. And then the actual the life empowerment process is the course that the people would be purchasing. So once they are in there, they purchase that once and then they have access to that course material as well as any other areas in the network that are public, not public out in the public, but public in the network area. Uh, let me know if you need clarification on that. And there's a couple of reasons why you might want to do a one time payment um, just for the example that I had with a mastermind group. Uh, it's a, a lot easier to uh, have people sign up for a specific time frame so they can look on their schedule and say if there's live calls that I can show up. I know I'm available this time. I'm not traveling. Nothing else is happening in my life. It gives people the ability also to say, this isn't a good time for me. <laughs> and so that might be um, resistance there as, as from your part of saying, well, I don't want to do one one time payment or, or a specific time course. Um, you could also have the course not be live and it could be a evergreen course or, you know, self-study course. Uh, you could also have that be a one-time payment. Uh, so this option would be good for people who either A, have a course already created that they want to move maybe somewhere from they were doing something, a different platform, and they want to move it to the Money Networks. And so they already have that established. Or they want to beta test either a course or a cohort group. And so uh, just having that parameter of, okay, we're just going to be in here for X amount of time. Um, that way they know that your time is committed for that period of time as well as theirs. And then after that, um, you can tell them at the end of the time together what the next steps will be. Uh, so that is option A, a course or a cohort, a one-time payment. So whatever that uh, calculation for you is of when you're establishing you need for the first launch to make X amount of dollars, um, you want to start factoring. I worked this out in the worksheet a bit um, that you'll see there's a worksheet here. And in the worksheet, it goes over the details in that um, section around getting a lot clearer on your structure when it asks you um, what's the purpose for the course so you can get some clarity and what's the first the date that you want to open your course or group. Uh, you can consider this a course or a group, all of these questions. And then how much, um, how many total hours do you have to dedicate to the project? And then also what's the income that you expect to have? There's an example all the way at the bottom I just want to highlight and it goes, uh, I know 10 people I want to invite into my course or cohort. I estimate that I'll convert about three to five of those people for the first course. I need to make $500 for the first five week course to cover my expenses. And I want to make $500 in profit. So that means a total of at least $1,000 would be coming from this first launch. Uh, therein, I need to charge $350 for each course of participant if I convert three. And that would be an introductory first time rate. Let me know if you have questions. <laughs>